I'm pleased to say Michele Garacci, Italy's Undersecretary at the Ministry of Economic Development, joins us now. Uh, Mr Garacci has lived in China, speaks Mandarin and is uh, the official who has been working to establish closer links with China. A great voice for the programme then. Michele, thank you very much for joining us. Um, Undersecretary, can I ask you, the US is concerned about this. Do you understand why the US is concerned? Uh, yes, no, I understand why they are concerned. Uh, I also understand why some of our European uh, partners are also concerned. Uh, and we took them into account. We have, uh, we have uh, had a constant dialogue with all of them. Uh, and uh, the, 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 the fact is that uh, uh, already almost half uh, of the European countries have already signed the MOU. Italy is not the first one. Uh, all European countries have signed uh, and put money for the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, which is the financing arm of the Belt and the Road. So, yes, we are the first G7 country, um, but just because of that, we are less likely to fall into problems such as the debt trap or, or Chinese overinvestment. We are a 1.7 trillion economy, large enough to shoulder any potential hot money coming into the country. In fact, we, we need a little bit of investment. Yes, indeed, and under secretary with a very large bond market. I wonder, are you hoping that the Chinese will buy Italian BTPs, buy Italian bonds as part of this Belt and Road Agreement? Uh, not, not necessary. The Italian uh, bond market is one of the most uh, liquid bond markets in the, in the world. Uh, yields uh, uh, may be attractive for some investors. Secondary market is open. If uh, any investor from any country wishes to purchase Italian BTP, they can do that. But that's not a direct relationship at government to government uh, uh, level. Michele, the U.S. has not been quiet about their concerns about the Chinese telecoms, namely Huawei. Does Italy plan to ban Huawei or what sort of scrutiny will be along with Huawei if they do come into Italy? Um, no, let me let me clarify. Uh, the MOU that we will be signing uh, this weekend uh, has uh, uh, nothing to do with the 5G. Uh, there are no names of specific companies, so the name Huawei is not mentioned. Neither is mentioned any of the Italian company or Chinese company names. This is just a framework uh, that establishes uh, how. Italy and China would wish to cooperate into the development of infrastructure along the Silk Road, which I think is a, a project that countries such as in Asia and Africa desperately needed. I tell you, as a, as a technical economist, I believe that development of infrastructure is at the basis on every country's economic uh, sustainable development. Uh, and many of the countries along the Silk Road do lack those infrastructure. Um, you mentioned at the beginning other partners' concerns. Uh, we, we are happy to take on board uh, any alternative suggestion. We have had uh, no alternative to this uh, Silk Road uh, project. Uh, if there was any, we would be happy to participate into other European-wide initiative. In fact, I do think that Italy leading uh, uh, the remaining uh, European countries uh, along the Silk Road could actually entice other countries to join and maybe form, like we said, a European uh, unified strategy vis-à-vis -vis the development of Africa, Middle East uh, and other countries along the Silk Road. Michele, finally here, I know that uh, Matteo Salvini has been pretty outspoken as well about trying to limit some of the agreements as China tries to come in. Are you at all concerned again about China trying to perhaps buy some of the influence and what can you do to protect Italy? You say that you can protect against hot money. How do you make sure that that is clear? Well, uh, let's look at the facts first. Uh, uh, over the last 10 years, China has a total accumulated FDI stock in Italy of 22 billion. In the UK, this reaches 80. In the US, 180. Uh, so, um, or if we look at the map of European ports, uh, China owns, of course, the Piraeus in Greece, uh, has investment in Marseille, Bilbao, Le Havre, Dunkirk, Zeebrug, Rotterdam, Valencia, uh, Malta. Uh, um, Suez, uh, uh, Istanbul, Gibraltar. Uh, the Silk Road uh, is already in Europe. The train to China leaves from Duisburg in Germany. Uh, this MOU brings uh, uh, 
order to what has been so far, uh, maybe over Chinese investment, but <laughs> in other countries, they now complain that Italy also wants to uh, join uh, this initiative. Uh, we have in Italy one of the strongest uh, golden power mechanisms that is uh, uh, managed by the uh, office of the prime minister, one of the strongest in Europe, very similar to the CFUS in the US, uh, that prevents uh, predatory MA coming into uh, Italy. And I am one of the biggest supporters of ring fencing our strategic assets and allowing indeed greenfield instead of MA, which has what has happened in the past.